We told you earlier, Wall Street took a, a hit today. The, new, the news of the tariffs from China took it pretty hard. The president's press spokesman says President Trump will fight back. It is the latest salvo in the growing, growing trade dispute, which some feel could lead to an all-out trade war among the world's two largest economies. Correspondent Rich Edson has the latest tonight from the State Department. China, the world's largest pork consumer. Last year, American pig farmers sold nearly $700 million of their pork to China. China just announced that same meat will be 25% more expensive. We export more than 26% of all U.S. pork production outside of our borders. So any disruption to an important market like China is bad news for U.S. hog farmers. China's Ministry of Commerce says it is imposing tariffs on 128 American products sold in China, pushing up the price of those goods and presenting a substantial disadvantage to American manufacturers and farmers. China announced a 15 percent tariff on U.S. fruit, wine, steel pipes and other products, 120 in total and a 25 percent import fee on eight others, like pork and recycled aluminum. This is in response to Trump administration tariffs on aluminum and steel imports from China and other countries. The White House justifies those tariffs, claiming they'll address the annual $350 billion U.S. trade deficit with China. He's tired of us being taken advantage of. They've taken our intellectual property, and the president's going to fight back, and he's going to push back. But we want to be able to work with them to make sure that we're getting a good deal and that we're not taking advantage of it. China says its tariffs hit about $3 billion worth of American imports, a small percentage of the more than $130 billion in goods the United States sends to China. Though analysts and free trade advocates say they worry about the next step. President Trump has also threatened to tax $60 billion in Chinese imports in response to China's theft of American trade secrets. The U.S. government says that costs U.S. businesses between $225 and $600 billion a year. Discussions continue between the governments. American producers say they want the U.S. and China to resolve this soon. There are 550,000 jobs in rural America that are tied directly to the U.S. pork industry. 110,000 of those jobs are directly tied to exports. So important for the growth of our industry and for our economy. There are also national security concerns. China is key to upcoming talks with North Korea. And the White House has just announced that President Trump will soon meet with the leader of a top competitor in the region for China, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. They'll discuss North Korea's strategy. Brett? Rich Hudson, live at the State Department. Rich, thanks.